Andrea Barra and her husband Moises used to take evening walks for granted. Uh, we never thought this day was, was going to come. Until Andrea began to have heart problems. Complications from her diagnosis of lupus made everyday chores energy sapping tasks. I can wash dishes, I can clean up my table, I can walk around, I can exercise without getting tired. Andrea's heart grew so weak she needed a transplant. That day arrived in August. Um, before they went to pick it up, they came to my room and told me that I had was my card was pulled and it was pulled for the B box. I was excited. Undergoing experimental surgery, Andrea received a new heart that never stopped beating from when it was donated until surgeons placed it into her chest. I still find it hard to believe, even these days when I see it. It's just so out of this world to be looking at a human heart beating on a machine and then several hours later seeing that heart beat in a human's chest. All possible because of this machine made by Transmedics, a type of high-tech heart box. Um, this uh, machine, use, we use the donor blood at the donor hospital to uh, circulate it uh, on this machine and the machine and then we would uh, mount the human heart, the donor heart, onto this device. Surgeons take the donor's heart and attach it to the machine which keeps the heart beating during transport from one hospital to another. The study being conducted in several hospitals around the United States tests how effective the technology is. Dr. Abbas Ardahali is leading research at the University of California, Los Angeles. And um, it may also um, uh, allow us to have a, a prolonged period of uh, time that the heart can be preserved on this machine. Important because currently once a heart is harvested, it's stored on ice in a cooler, not beating. It's then a race against time to get the organ to the patient. The longer a heart is outside the body, the greater the chance it will deteriorate. The human heart can only be preserved for a maximum of about eight hours or so. This technology has the potential to allow us to extend that period for a longer period of time. The theory is that the heart box will extend the life of a donor's heart in transit. That allows the organs to travel farther to patients. It could open up bigger pools of donors and patients. I was, I was fine, like I was ready for it. I was hoping I'd get it this way. So it was just, it worked out great. You know? I'd rather have received it this way than put on ice. When we met Andrea weeks after her surgery, a doctor took a biopsy of her new heart to make sure her body is not rejecting the organ. A technician performed an ultrasound. Everything looked normal. It doesn't even feel like it was never mine. It feels like it's part of it. Was, it's my own, you know. I thought I would feel different. But... The Ibarras say their lives are beginning to get back to normal, too. It, it's nice. It, it's something you kind of do take for granted. Yeah. And... To have it back, it's, it's, it's awesome. A fully functional heart enables Andrea to do those normal things again, like walks around the neighborhood. Eventually, there will be 128 patients involved in this study across America. Each has a 50-50 chance of getting the experimental transplantation method, the heart box. John Mellie Associated Press, Los Angeles.